Hi friends, welcome back to the course. Uh, so today, uh, I would like to add upon a few things. We already have a video on linear systems. Now, today, I want to talk a bit more about the characteristic of linear systems and how effectively we will be using the characteristics or the properties of a linear system further down the course. So, um, let's get started. Um, when you have a differential equation that governs a system, uh, let's say this is the differential equation that, gov that governs the system. Let's say this is. Then similarly, this is for a single degree of freedom spring damper and then your mass coming this kind of a strict system this is your mass this is your damper and this is your spring so uh, similarly let's say i have a system like i'm ca calling the system i'm representing the system as a black box so you give an excitation you give a f of t then let's say the response will be x of t now oh, in order to tell whether the system is a linear or a non-linear system we don't have to worry too much uh, what we can do is we can first out figure out what is a governing governing differential equation that relates my response to my excitation so in this case if i let's say instead of um, no force acting here instead of let's say i'm applying a force over this body let's call it's f of t then this equation the governing differential equation which governs this particular system is this okay now to determine whether this is a linear or non-linear system just look at the terms in the differential equation so x of t is our dependent variable if x of t and its derivatives let's say first derivative x of t second derivative x doubled of t all these terms if they are only raised to the power of one or zero that means effectively a constant uh, so if dependent variables and their derivatives are raised only to the first power or power of one then we can term the system as a linear system so it is simple to put it in a nutshell you have a system find the governing differential equation of the system identify whether that differential equation is a linear or non-linear differential equation by looking at looking at this criteria so now you can tell whether your system is linear or non-linear now now let's say uh, we know now our system is uh, linear let's say i'm representing my system as a black box like this then let's say for an excitation of f1 of t i'm getting an expression and i'm getting a response of x1 of t now i'm going to talk about one imp very important property of linear systems called the superposition superposition this principle will be widely utilized used in the due course mm -hmm. in the force vibration case we will be using this technique first of all let's get started up let's get started talking about the technique now similarly if you have an excitation of f2 t let's say i have a response x2 of t two different scenarios so you have two different loading cases f1 of t and f2 of t two different excitations then we separately calculated the responses x1 of t and x2 of t now let's say c1 and c2 are some constants i want to calculate let's say if my excitation is c1 times f1 of t plus c2 times f2 of t this is my excitation this is my new excitation let's say this is my new f 
I want to calculate what will be my x nu of t, x nu of t, what will be the new response. So if the system is a linear system, then the response will be simply a linear combination of individual responses. So this is a very important property of linear systems. And just one more thing to note is that we may come across nonlinear systems, um, not in this course, but even certain nonlinear systems can be treated as linear systems in certain regimes. Um, when uh, I won't, I'm not going deep into it. So, thanks.